I'm Cindy Carter, and I've been raising, caring for, and working professionally with dogs for more than 17 years. I'm bringing the best of my wisdom to you right now in Social Dog. Bow wow, everybody, and you are listening to the 84th episode of the Social Dog Show. My name is Cindy Carter, and I couldn't be any more humble and grateful to be here with you today. We have probably one of the most important shows that we've had. Uh, Today's topic is going to be the best bowl for your pets. So whether your dog is eating or drinking, you know this is going to have a huge impact on the longevity of the life of your pet. So you definitely want to stay tuned. You definitely want to share and um, hopefully your pet will get a lot out of this podcast today. Other than that, I want to thank my friends at Inflow Radio. Also, uh, my friends at The Dog Gurus, whether you're starting your business, you're growing your business or just trying to get to the next level or even selling your business. You want to check them out at the doggurus.com. Nothing but integrity, quality advice, and great coaches there for you. Uh, can't say enough good things about them. I believe our, our guest today, Mr. Alex McKinnon with Ken Bowles, uh, Better Bowles, will also attest to that. Uh, he has done a lot of work with the dog gurus as well. Anyhow, uh, other than that, uh, I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, staying safe, doing what they're supposed to do. So with no further ado, I want to go ahead and introduce our guest today. He has invented an amazing product that maybe probably a lot of you have not heard of unless you're in the industry, but it's Ken Bowles. Uh, Alex is the inventor and uh, owner of the company along with his wife. And Alex, are you on with us? Yes, and I'm excited to be here, Cindy. Thank you. Dee Dee. Dee Dee is Alex's wife's name, by the way. I don't want to leave her out. Thank you. I'm excited to have you on as well, if you can't tell. Um, so I hope you guys had a great holiday weekend. Um, Alex, I can't think of any. Can you kind of tell me a little bit about you and Dee Dee and and how did you guys get into the pet industry and, and into you know, pet food and water bowls of all things. Certainly. Well, first of all, my wife, Dee Dee, and I love pets, especially dogs. Uh, my parents got uh, a rescue lopsopsa uh, for me when I was two years old. That was quite a while ago. Um, <laughs> and then nine, eight, eight, nine years ago, uh, Sky and Aaron, who were also third chance rescue terrier schnauzer mixes, adopted my wife and I at the Irvine Animal Care Center in California. And um, that that's, uh, we we love dogs. I also, before we started our company, Ken, I had about 25 years experience leading industrial design, new product development, innovation, and marketing with brands like uh, Braun, the German company that makes electric shavers, coffee makers, toothbrushes, etc. And so... Uh, we also believe immensely in teamwork, and one of the accomplishments we had at Braun, working out of Germany for four years, is we created a new line of coffee makers and made it the number one brand in the world. And then after working uh, in the corporate larger company world, my wife Dee Dee and I decided that we love dogs, and so we started to learn about them. We met with some veterinarians. In California, and we asked them what some of the unmet needs were, and they came up with several, which uh, we're at varying degrees of progress and working on. And one of them is that your typical dog or cat bowl has a lot of germs in it, and they're, they're not effective solutions to eliminating these germs. So we hired a team and began to work on solving these problems and 2011, and here we are today. Wow. 
Well, you're certainly making a, a number one. That's a very impressive background. You know, the more, the more I learn about you, the more humbled I and, and nervous I am to speak with you, to be honest with you. It's like, well, it's always the, the humblest people are the most intelligent people. So, um, why, why should we know about Ken Bowles? Why should every okay. pet, dog, cat owner know about Ken Bowles? Sure. Well, um, our, our belief is you should probably know at least a little bit about our company um, as background. And the reason we started our company and the reason we love what we do every day is we believe that healthier pets create stronger bonds. So that's what we call our why. And this drives everything we do to make pets healthier and to improve their relationships with uh, other pets and their people. Uh, so that's our why. Uh, we also believe that pets are family, pets are kin. We named our company Kin with an extra end to constantly remind us to nurture the relationships we have with our pets. So this is our who we are is Kin. We also have a tagline, Nurture by Design, which describes how we do what we do. In other words, our background and culture is all about design. So that's our how. And then our what we do is we, our team, designs and markets innovative products that solve significant problems in pet care. And probably one of the most important things we think you should know about any company when you're considering um, buying from them is their values. And Ken's values are innovation, sustainability, and trust. And we'll talk about those a little bit later. So that's kind of... Uh, why we do what we do, uh, who we are, how we do it, and what we do. I love that. We should we should know this about every company we do business with, right? We believe so. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Uh, what problems are the clean bowl solving, and why should we even care? That's a great question. Um, because a lot of people say, well, you know, dogs, they're outside all the time. They sometimes eat other dogs' poops. They're, you know, they're exposed to germs all day. So why are germs important? Um, but what we, we learned from veterinarians again, starting in 2011 is, um, there are several germs that, uh, pet parents should be aware of. And probably one of the most important one is plaque, oral plaque. And in case you don't know how plaque forms, this is the same with humans, is plaque forms when uh, saliva mixes with food particles. And basically every time a dog or a cat drinks or eats out of a, a pet bowl, their saliva and the oral plaque in their mouth is going inside of that bowl. And it's like when they lick the bottom of a food bowl, it's lining it with uh, several bacteria, some of which may be fine, but there's a lot of oral plaque in there. And then obviously for those of you out there who work with daycare and boarding and other pet care services, there are other bacteria and viruses that can go around those facilities or for that matter, around a pet household, which are... um, which are important to avoid, and you might just be saying to yourself, well, why don't I just throw it in the dishwasher? Well, since we're in this COVID age, I'm sure everybody's heard a lot about the CDC, Center for Disease Control. Well, the CDC determined that to truly sterilize and remove germs, meaning bacteria and viruses from any container, you have to get up to uh, about 250 degrees for several minutes, and the hottest any commercial dishwasher gets up to is 180 degrees, and that's the reason why the National Center for Biotechnology Information did research on pet bowls, and they found that 67% of pet bowls still have salmonella in them after 
mm. run after being run through a commercial dishwasher. And the scientists at Ohio State University did research to show that dishwashers also leave a lot of viruses behind. So we learned that through research. And so we think that salmonella and we think that viruses are, are a problem. There may be other bacteria that are not. And so that's one of the reasons that we uh, set out to find a way to create a uh, germ-free bowl, which eliminates 100% of the germs, including those that uh, dishwashers don't kill. And um, basically what our product is, uh, we're, as uh, Cindy said, our brand is Ken, and our product is called the Clean Bowl. And Clean Bowl is a system comprised of a stainless steel frame when it, with an anti-skid rubber ring uh, on the bottom, and you put that frame on top of a recyclable and compostable sugarcane fiber refill bowl so that you make the, uh, the refill bowl spill proof. And when you recycle or compost the sugarcane fiber refill, you're eliminating 100% of the germs, including those that dishwashers do not get hot enough to, to kill. The frame can be periodically wiped clean, or you can place it in the dishwasher if you want to. And so it's designed so because the sugarcane fiber is soak proof, it's great for water, it's great for food. Some people use it for treats, snacks, etc. Mm-hmm. And for those of you out there who are visual learners, uh, there's a URL, URL called cleanbowl.com. So K L E A N B O W L.com. And there's another one called the healthier pet bowl.com. And essentially because dogs can smell that there are no germs in our bowl and they can smell the germs that the dishwasher in a ordinary bowl, uh, leave behind, they can smell there's no germs in there, so they drink more water for healthier hydration. If, uh, if they're a finicky eater, they're more likely to eat all their food for better pet nutrition. And it also reduces uh, oral plaque, which improves their oral wellness. And uh, we think those are uh, important uh, topics, and um, we'd love to... Uh, help educate you if that's of interest to you and your dog and your household. Well, so I can attest with our facility, we use the bowls as well. And the difference between when we use the metal stainless steel bowls to we use the clean bowls, the difference in the quantity of water dogs drink and also the, the amount of food, you know, they're away from home, they're missing their parents, their appetite might be off a little bit, but they chow their food down in these bowls. And like you said, you know, what really, really stuck out to me was, you know, we put these metal bowls for us for years in the dishwasher at work thinking, you know, we are really doing our very, very best to make sure these bowls are clean and sanitized for, for our furry furry babies and then when you came out with the research about the 250 degrees to really clean a bowl and a dishwasher only gets up to 180 degrees and then personally in my mind I go back to my home where I do throw my dog bowls in my dishwasher with my food with our utensils I did not anymore after hearing this but And then, you know, while we have the COVID-19 going on, any extra step we can take to eliminate the transfer of any type of germ or virus amongst us or our pets, it was just an absolute no-brainer. You know, it's kind of like um, reinventing a new toothpaste or toothbrush after all these years. I feel like this is so significant to the industry and to the health of our animals that, again, you know, the research that you uh, educated us on about the 250 degrees to really clean a bowl, and we're not doing that, and we're thinking we're doing a great job, right? So you 
Yeah. Thank you, Alex. Well, as they say, there's no I in team, and we we have a small, great team of uh, pet lovers that'll do virtually anything to help keep pets healthier. So thank you for, for the kind word, Cindy. Well, <laughs> thanks thanks for improving the quality of our care for not only our my personal pets, but for my clients' pets as well. And, you know, I think it's super important uh, I noticed on YouTube, I think the resort's name was Barkeritaville in Corpus Christi, who is a, a great facility. They did a really amazing YouTube video, I think, on on your product, and it's great. I mean, what a testimony that is to, to you guys and your product. So as you mentioned before, um, your three pillars to being a sustainable uh, product – can you can you go into that just a little bit, Alex? Of course. Um, and sustainability, um, as we mentioned before, is one of our three core values. So it's very important to us, and we hope it's important to many of you listening. And the three pillars to being sustainable are environmental, which everybody knows, but also, in addition to environmental, there's society and financial slash economic sustainability. So if we start with the environment, when you recycle our sugarcane fiber refill bowls in the with paper, you actually reduced environmental waste by 122% versus washing ordinary bowls because it reduces the greenhouse gases, electricity, and water versus dishwashers. And if you're skeptical and being skeptical is usually healthy, you can see a case study that the Pet Sustainability Coalition did on our bowls, and the URL for that is sustainablepetbowl.com. And for those of you who are composters, in addition to being 100% recyclable, they're also 100% compostable. So that's some of the ways in which uh, we help improve uh, environmental sustainability. In terms of society, which is incredibly important, we'll just give you one example. All of Ken's products are assembled, packaged, and have final quality control done to them by a team of disabled people in Southern California at an organization called OPARC. And if you're curious, it's O-P-A-R-C dot org. So every time anybody buys and uses Ken products, you're helping to give disabled people a job that they would not have otherwise. So that's an example of you know, societal uh, sustainability. And in terms of uh, financial slash economic sustainability, uh, since Cindy said most of you are pet parents listening in, well, some of the ways the Ken Claim Bowl can help you save money over the life of your pet includes uh, dental disease treatment cost reduction. You're going to save money on water, soap, energy, greenhouse gases, and uh, unplanned trips to the veterinarian as well as the value of your time. And to be very clear, we are not suggesting that the Claim Bowl by itself is going to eliminate dental disease, but just like with humans, you're supposed to brush your teeth, you're supposed to floss your teeth, and you're supposed to visit the dentist. If you use the clean bowl together with other dental hygiene approaches, you'll actually notice that your dog or cat's teeth look whiter because they will have less oral plaque, and that can help them live up to four years longer. Um, And for those of you out there who work at daycare and boarding, uh, meaning pet care service businesses, we reduced the labor time washing bowls by uh, 80%, which uh, allows employees at pet boarding and daycare um, facilities to uh, spend that extra time uh, spending more care time with pets so that the pet parents' pets are spoiled even more the way they should be. Uh, and it also helps reduce uh, labor costs if that's the way you want to go. And um, also another important financial thing we want to point out that our team does support multiple nonprofits, including 
uh, IBPSA, which is the International Boarding and Pet Service Association. We also su- support Pet Sustainability Coalition and ASPCA. And for again, for those of you out there in the boarding and daycare world, we can help employees have healthier and happier um, careers. And one of the ways we do that is spending a lot less time washing bowls. If you're if you are in that field. You can go to the URL ilovepetcare.com, and it'll show you some of the ways we can help you. So ho- hopefully that gave folks a little bit of a taste of how we help with environmental, societal, and financial uh, sustainability. Amazing. Amazing. Ilovepetcare.com. And also you support the fear-free uh you recommend fear-free uh, businesses, and I know that's kind of a new trend starting out, but we can't get the word out enough about that for sure. So reduced uh, dental disease, vet bills, you have more quality time with your pets, less oral plaque. Here's a huge one in case you missed it. Live four years longer. Imagine if you can add four more years to the life with your pet, what we wouldn't do for that. And and for all of us in the pet care industry, reducing that labor. Labor, we are such a labor-intensive business. Um, and that's a huge, huge value. That's amazing. How How can one bowl accomplish so much? You've done it, Alex. It's, it's 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 the best bowl out there. There's there's I can't think of anybody who can even touch this. It's just so huge. Um, now let's see. There's one thing I wanted to ask you that I've noticed. Uh, mm, hang on one second here. Let me find my notes. I'm gonna ask you about. Can you tell us now? You have this is something kind of new. But can you tell us about the Clean Bowl Challenge? Certainly, Cindy. We would be delighted to. Some of, some folks out there might remember the Pepsi Challenge on television where you hand somebody a can of Coke, a can of Pepsi with the labels hidden, and then you pick which one you prefer. Uh, so our two dogs, Sky and Aaron, uh, inspired us to this discovery but basically, um, what the Clean Bowl Challenge is, it's driven by what we talked about before. The average pet bowl has over a million germs in it. The dishwashers are not getting hot enough to kill all the germs. So that, um, again, including oral plaque and some others. <clears throat> so dogs and cats can smell that our, our bowls are germ-free and ordinary ones are probably not. And so the way you take a clean bowl challenge is you, uh, you, you get a clean bowl, you put it on the ground. So you put the refill on the ground, you put the uh, stainless steel frame on top of it, and you put it right next to a pet's ordinary uh, bowl or water fountain. You fill it up with the same water or you can do it with food. And then you let the dog or the cat into the room to choose between the two options. And we actually financially guarantee that your pet will choose clean bowl, again, because they can smell the difference. And if you send us a video of your pet taking the clean bowl challenge, we will have our our, uh, marketing stars and all team posted on social media. And we'll also send you 50 of our sugar cane fiber refills for free. And if you're skeptical, and again, I think it's healthy to be skeptical, if you go to cleanbowlchallenge.com, and again, clean bowl is spelled with a K, cleanbowlchallenge.com, you can see countless videos of both dogs and cats uh, taking the clean bowl challenge, and hopefully that will give you some insight because we're going to go out on a limb and suggest if you trust any being on this planet, it's probably your dog or cat. So if you let them choose, I think you can learn a lot. <laughs> So true. That is so true. So true. I can tell you, uh, you know, when we transitioned from the metal bowls to the uh, sugar cane fiber bowls, you know, change is hard. People, 
you know, your staff gets in a routine and they don't quite understand, or maybe we didn't educate them enough about it, right? We had this little schnauzer and they were like, you know, he's not touching his food. He's not touching his food. It's like, why are you still using the metal bowls? We have the new sugar cane bowls. And you could see the eyes roll like, ah, uh, you know, here she goes again. And sure enough, they put the food in the sugar cane bowl, set the bowl down, and that dog just scarfed it up, scarfed it up. And and I can say for, for my dogs, I have three dogs, you know, the met- – our bowls, like I said, I was putting them in the dishwasher. Now, the moment I switch out the bowls, all three of them are like this waiting at the trough. Okay, like I might have to fill it up a couple times. They just they just love it. They really do. You can tell they enjoy a nice, clean water bowl. And for, for how many years, I can remember when I just did pet sitting, people – would have their dogs just living in the backyard and there would be that green mold in the bottom of around the bowl and be like, Oh my God, I got to clean this slimy thing out. And they'd be like, Oh, don't worry about it. They love it that way. But little did they realize how many, how many dangerous germs were in those bowls. Right. You know, so there you go. And our dogs didn't live as long. So thank you again. Clean bowls. Um, Alex, why does Ken partner within the pet care industry? I mean, I see you guys partnering up with a lot of, uh, great industry leaders. Can you well, kind of tell I, me about that? Certainly. Well, we, we think as in life, it's important to have friends, uh, to not only help you get to the right destination if you have one and, but also to enjoy the journey. And some of the partners that our team collaborates with, first of all, I'm an, I'm a advisory board member of IBPSA, which is the International Boarding and Pet Service Association. As Cindy mentioned, we love the dog gurus. We've been very close friends with uh, Susan Briggs and Robin Bennett for years. They run an amazing organization, and they help educate so many people. So we also think the the world of the dog gurus. Um, we also partner with the Pet Sustainability Coalition. Most people don't even know they exist, but they have an, a, an amazing mission and most of what we told you in terms of sustainability, whether it's environmental, societal, or financial slash economic, we our team keeps learning from Pet Sustainability Coalition. As mentioned, we also collaborate with OPARC, which is a fabulous organization staffed entirely by disabled people that do um, they help us in so many ways with assembly, packaging, some QC work. And as Cindy mentioned, we also um, partner with Fear Free, which is Dr. Marty Becker's brainchild, and uh, they're a fabulous organization as well. We also have, um, we're very blessed to have quite a few other industry friends. I think probably one of the reasons we were are privileged enough to be on this show today is we also have some great friends at Blue Nine out of Iowa who make Climb, which is a uh, is a must-have product both for pet parents as well as uh, doggy daycares, and so we're friends with them as well as others, and we're very blessed to work with these people. And again, we're very happy to be given the opportunity to speak with you guys today. Thank you. That's amazing. Yeah, the climb is definitely a must for every pet parent. Uh, we're getting ready to put in another huge order with them. I love the climbs. Uh, where can you, where can, like I said, some of our, our listeners are, are pet parents and some of them have pet businesses just like mine as well. Where can we learn more, like, we want to purchase you know just for our home or we want to purchase for our businesses where do we go Um, certainly well our website i will say it then i will spell it out it is kininc.com so that is k-i-n-n-i-n-c.com 
And um, if you uh, go through that, I we hope you can find uh, helpful educational information both for pet parents. And if if you're interested, we certainly have uh, separate content for pet care services businesses, meaning daycare and boarding, as well as others. And if for any reason you cannot find what you're looking for on there, you can also email us at customer service at kenink.com, which is, uh, cus- again, kenink is K-I-N-N-I-N-C.com. And uh, if you're, uh, if you're somebody who prefers to talk to people live, you can call customer service at 980-272-6464. And we're located in Charlotte, North Carolina. And hopefully this information is helpful to you. It's beyond helpful. It's it's going to have a, a lifelong impact on all of our furry family, right? Um, let's see. Uh, we talked about that. I don't want to miss anything on this. What can pet parents do these days to help make their pets as healthy as possible? And I want to say this also. We spend so much time and money focused on on food, right? Looking for the best dog food that our dogs are not allergic to. And it seems like just, you know, once we find the, the right dog food and our dog's allergies go away, there's such a, like a narrow window and ne- like within a year that our dogs become allergic to that and have to go on to a different type of product. Right. But why, why hasn't the industry until now um, focused on water? I mean, water intake for our, our furry families, organs are so important, so important. Like why has it taken until now for someone to really put a focus on this? Any well, idea? Uh, I, well, well, Cindy, I, I think you make a great point. Um, uh, veterinarians, I think, have known this for for years. But as as human beings, sixty percent of our body is made of water. And to Cindy's point, hydration is even more important for dogs and cats because we're sixty percent water. Dogs and cats are eighty percent water, so it's even more important to them. And I think one of the issues is, as Cindy described it a few moments ago, is unless you really remove all the germs from the bowl, they can smell them in there. And, of course, if they're thirsty enough, they're they're probably still going to drink some water. But uh, in probably one of the most important things you can do for a dog's health is make sure that they have 24-7, 365 access to fresh water. And if you do that, the list of health benefits for your dog or your cat are just too long to to list. They just keep going on and on and on. And think about it yourself. When you're tired or grumpy or thirsty and and you drink a, a glass of fresh, clean water, you know it makes you feel better. Well, that's going to, your dog or cat's going to have, the, the impact will be even more pronounced. And some, some, uh, there, there have been a lot of attempts to improve that and we'll all keep fighting for that. And one of the, one of the ways people have tried to do that is with water fountains. And we think that's a step in the right direction. Unfortunately, for those, uh, water fountains for pets that have carbon filters in them, the carbon does remove the flavor, the taste or smell of, uh, of chlorine, but it doesn't do anything to kill germs. So very often with, and therefore a lot of pet parents erroneously think, well, it's got a filter in it. It's removing the germs. So they clean the water fountains even less often than they would a bowl. So it kind of exacerbates the problem. And um, mm. so anyway, yes, uh, hydration is actually uh, incredibly important. Absolutely. Um, so just to go over a few facts, uh, if you're not washing your dog's bowl on a daily basis and getting it to the right temperature, 
you're 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 dealing with E. coli, salmonella, staph, yeast, mold. You know what about those? Being in the pet industry, and and my clients are like my family. This, this is really scary. What I'm going to say. How many times do I get pictures of friends, toddlers drinking? I I kid you not. Look how cute. You know, our our little toddlers drinking water out the dog's water bowl. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen people send me pictures, you know, thinking this is adorable. My baby loves the dog. You know, now it's like, I feel like, Alex, we need a PSA on this. Um, This is so important. And then you wonder why, you know, we come down with salmonella or any of these diseases. So it's not only to keep your dog healthy, it's to keep you and your family healthy as well. And especially if you have toddlers or, or, or young children, right? Um, so that's one thing. Then soap and hot water are not cleaning your your dog's bowls enough. There's still dangerous germs in there. The dishwasher is not enough to kill the salmonella and dangerous germs. You know, here's one thing that blew me away. I would think bleach and disinfectant would kill it. Nope, doesn't do it. Am I right? That's correct on that. Right, Alex? Well, well to your point, I uh, just wanted to just add one point. The National Center for Biotechnology Information did do research where they washed uh, pet food bowls, which had been used for raw food, and after using hot water, soap, and a bleach rinse, 33% of the pet bowls still had salmonella in them. The So bleach doesn't necessarily work, but what I want to be, uh, just wanted to make one point, there are a lot of great and exceptionally important disinfectant products out there that are used with pet care service businesses, including veterinarians. And, and those products are great. And they, they, they have to be used to effectively disinfect, you know, the key areas of a facility. One of the things that we also learned from a client in Houston, Texas, is that dogs and cats can smell those disinfectants. So we, we, are, we highly encourage people to use disinfectants around their facilities. So just to be clear, that's critically important. But one of the things we learned from this client in Houston, Texas, is when they were using the same disinfectants to clean to, as the final step in the cleaning process for the stainless steel bowls, they, I'm sure they got most, if not all, the germs out of there. But what they learned is the dogs can actually smell the residue of the disinfectants. And that, too, was uh, deterring them from drinking enough water, if that makes sense. It does. It does. I can't imagine it smells delicious. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> chemical water. Yay. Uh, uh <clears throat> So also, as you mentioned, uh, the water fountain carbon filters and paper food trays spread germs. Uh, pets with compromised immune systems. Holy cow. Here's a whole, we could go down this rabbit hole too. Pets, if your pet has a compromised immune system, including puppies, kittens, uh, senior pets, six pets, uh, are especially vulnerable to infections from bacteria and viruses from pet bowls. I didn't even think of that. Jeez Louise. Germs in pet bowls contribute to finicky eating, poor nutrition, dehydration. Dehydration is a huge problem with our furry family. Huge problem. Uh, and just like you mentioned, Alex, you know, if you're feeling kind of bad or have a headache, go drink a glass of water and you're you know, it's like the miracle tonic. You feel so much better. You know, pets need to be hydrated. If they're drinking out of funky bowls, they really don't want to drink out of them. Uh, germs in bowls are also associated with three of the top six reasons vets see pet in, uh, pets, including stomach upset, diarrhea, and intestinal inflammation. Not to mention the parasites that could be spread. 
Uh, germs from teeth and gums ingested through the bloodstream cause disease and organ failure, affecting your pet's heart, brain, lung, kidney, and liver. This is what can take four years off of your pet's life. Uh, so the healthier pet bowl, without without you know doubt, is you guys is kin k i n n clean bowl. It's it's just an amazing product and it's so important. Uh, so again, Alex, we just have a couple few more minutes. If you would like to just uh, maybe share like your YouTube, your social media, and and where we can go to uh, purchase the Ken Bowls, and I'm gonna put a link up. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put a, I know I'm going to go ahead and put a link up on our website. So anytime you're listening to this podcast, if you're listening to this podcast in two, three years from now, go to my website, the social dog show.com. I will have a link to these bowls, Ken, K I N N clean bowl. And uh, you'll always have nice germ-free product to put your uh, dog's food and water in and keep your furry family safe. Alex. Sure. Well, um, thank you so much for the opportunity in terms of how to uh, learn more. As we mentioned before, our website is keninc.com, K-I-N-N-I-N-C.com. As Cindy mentioned, we... Uh, are on Facebook because that's where a lot of the pet care service uh, industry is. We're also on Instagram. We are also on uh, LinkedIn, again, for the pet care services industry. And to Cindy's great point, we have lots of videos on YouTube. And again, if you are skeptical, I would encourage you to go to cleanboldchallenge.com. And you can see countless videos of dogs and cats uh, taking the the, um, the clean bowl challenge. And uh, we love dogs. We love cats. And we'd love to have you follow us on Facebook, uh, on Instagram, or whatever uh, your particular need is. And uh, we'd love to get uh, videos from those of you who do decide to take the clean bowl challenge. And... Uh, the uh, place to get the most information and from which you can buy is on our website. And Cindy, what what am I missing to uh, help out with your uh, your listeners? One thing that just crossed my mind: if I was listening, I'd want to know, like, if I have a uh, let's say a, I just have one one dog, medium sized dog, like about what am I looking at financially? Even though I know I'm saving all the money. Uh, on water, what am I talking about financially if I go to the website and purchase, a, say, a starter? I don't even know what a starter set would be for a retail client, say, with one dog. But just to kind of give them a, a ballpark, of what, what am I looking at? I have a friend uh, with a little dog named Luna. You know she's going to want these bowls, and I know – you know, her dad's thinking right now, like, huh, I wonder how much this is going to cost. Like they're waiting for that bottom line. Sure. Well, first of all, I thank you for the reminder. And I actually forgot something very important. The clean bowl does come in four different sizes. Mm. It comes in 8, 16, 24, and 32 ounce. The 8 ounce is obviously the smallest, and that is, uh, typically used by very small dogs for food as well as cats for food. And you can use all four sides of it, uh, sizes for water. The, the 16 ounce is uh, for medium sized dogs and that uh, typically for dogs 30 pounds and under is a great choice. The 24 ounce is a very low profile so it's a very wide but shallow bowl that is great for cats uh, because it helps prevent whisker stress because their whiskers don't touch the side of the bowl which can actually keep a lot of cats from eating their food it's also great for a lot of flat faced dogs who have issues uh, getting to their food and then the 32 ounce is the largest and to your point on uh 
prices. Uh, we, we do sell, uh, clean bowls with one stainless steel frame and seven, uh, seven refills. Those are as, uh, inexpensive as $17 and about $17. The most expensive 32 ounce is $24.95 on the refills for 50 of them. They range from twelve dollars and forty five cents to nineteen ninety five for the largest. And so that's if you wanna buy either a clean bowl or the fifty pack. To Cindy's point on a starter kit, to get the best deal, uh starter kits have two frames, so one for food, one for water, and they obviously still have the seven samples of the refills, but they also come with a 50 pack of refills. So you get two stainless steel frames and 57 refills. Those range in price from uh, the low 30s to just about uh, the low 50s. So that's, uh, that's at the high end of the price uh, range. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, one thing I'm thinking about, what about like our tall dogs? I guess we just have to have a stand that would accommodate, you know, like for our great Danes and, and, you know, our long legged babies that could, uh, well, go ahead. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Well, he, here is one create. So to, for tall dogs, mm-hmm. uh, we, we've, uh, we actually, recommend that people use the blue nine climb and you can put your clean bowls up on top of it. Uh, or if you, for whatever reason, uh, you're not into training your dog, you, you, you could put it on lots on other objects to raise it off the ground. And then one of the thing, one of the many curious and helpful things that we learned from a client in Canada is they say, well, I, I need a slow food bowl. And some, what this, uh, facility in Canada taught us is they, uh, there's a, um, there's a, uh, you can put a bowl, you can put like a ball in the middle of it and that'll mm. slow, pe- slow the dog down in terms of eating. True. That's a great idea. And you know, what's funny. We used to climb for that reason at work as well. <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> Great minds think alike. Well, Alex, wow, I, I can't believe it took me this long to ask you to be on this show. I am so humbled and grateful that you came on and shared all this incredible information. And I'm sure our dogs are going to live longer, uh, have healthy water and healthy food. And, and you just added four years to the life of a lot of dogs. So there you go. Thank you, Alex. And, um, don't forget to go to his website and the healthier pet bowl.com. And don't forget about the clean bowl challenge. Who doesn't want 50 free bowls, right? Uh, thank you for listening. This is the social dog show next week. We'll have another great guest. That'll make an impact on you and your dog's life. Thank you. We love you and have a doggone great day. today's episode would you do me a favor and rate it on itunes it's a way to give back just a simple star rating will do and of course if you have any feedback ideas or suggestions i'd love to hear that too email me at socialdogexaminer.com i'm always looking for new healthy heart-centered resources and ideas to explore for our canine friends This show is brought to you by InflowRadio.com, the best curated talk radio network for personal development, wellness, spirituality, and conscious business.